All right, so let's come into my office and um, let's take a look. Before we go into my office, I did want to tell you what it is I do at home because somebody's gonna say, well, what kind of work do you do? I'm a certified health coach and um, I also went to Thailand and I got certified as a Thailand chef. So um, what I do is I do multiple things, but my main thing is coaching people in how to eat healthy but um, incorporate a healthy lifestyle. So it's not diet for a certain amount of time, but how you can incorporate things um, forever and not feel deprived. So I, I do cooking classes, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, a pantry makeover, um, I do multiple things. So my area has to be very, um, like I said, it has to be very neat because that's just how I how I can function and think well. And that's the same that goes with my pantry. Another day I'm gonna show you what my pantry looks like, how to organize it, how to dress your pantry for success. So for now, today's video, let's go take a look at my office space. So number one, um, whenever I work in an area, I need to be able to be very, like have things very neat. I like things to be in place. I don't like to scatter my mess around. I don't, I don't like that. I can't focus. I've got to have things just neat and tidy. So one of the ways is always like bins. Bins are always like a good idea. Um, and since my desk does not have drawers, um, I picked it out so that it's open and that way I can kind of put what I wanted and just put use baskets. And I've got some of these, um, I love these Dollar Tree, um, what do they call composition books? Cause I really utilize these a lot. Um, I like to, these are a great way just to kind of organize your thoughts, um, recipes, um, anything, workouts. I love these things and I usually get them at the Dollar Tree and I'm not sure I have anything in this one, but I have different things in here that I kind of keep them down um, just by category. So if I'm doing workout and specific workout and I just want to come back and see, you know, was this a good workout, something I can follow then um, I like to kind of just keep them by category. So these you can get really cheap, especially about this time of year, before school. Um, they do have these at the Dollar Tree and they are um, they come in all different variety. You can also get them at Target uh, in the dollar section. So I like, uh, I love these books. Um, and so the, I, I just use it just as an organizer. So I think I got that at uh, TJ Maxx. I used to have a big um, binders, but they just take up so much space that I don't, I don't have a lot of space for that. I don't, I don't want big and clunky things. So I just keep things that are small and have some more empty space. Doesn't mean I have to fill it up, but. All right, so coming around here, I have more composition books. So let me move. And what I have here is a, one of those uh, desk organizers. It's gray and it's metal-like, so. I decided I was just gonna keep it on top of the desk. And here, you know, I'm keeping my, these are from the Dollar Tree. I bought the labels at um, Target. And so I just like to keep my things. And these are, they're not filled in yet, but I have them ready to go. And that's the whole thing is that when you, spark up an idea or you need something, have the labels, have everything ready, have the books ready, and you never know when you're gonna need them. So I've got brainstorming, um, and I've got, you know, just more things, my essential oils, and natural remedies, when I was doing the candida uh, diet, um, things to do when I travel. So keeping things organized like that is just a good way putting things back right all right so i put everything back and then i have another little um this was a tv uh remote control little organizer um and so since we don't really use that we just only have two remotes and i keep them in a separate little um coffee table drawer so i decided that i was going to put this to use and so i think i got this at uh, tj maxx or marshall's and i got these from the dollar tree a little pencil holders um and i put the since it's bigger, I put all my, my highlighters in there. And then I have over here a mason jar and I just put all my pens and I always use these uh, Sharpies, which I get from the Dollar Tree as well. And then I have, so you wanna have everything like accessible. It makes it so much easier when you're looking for a pen, you're gonna look for paper. So I try to keep everything handy. And then I have my little, um, scripture, the little scripture encouraging motivational things and I just try to keep that there so it's not like in the way of things. I've got some uh, colored Sharpies here. And as well, I have something I use, I try to keep on the desk whatever I use the most. So I've got some glass eyeglass cleaner. And just having things handy um, is gonna just help me be more efficient. Then I've got my iPad. So if I'm working on the computer and I need to look up something, I can run that through my iPad and um, just look through there. <clears throat> and I've got a little stand 
It's just an inexpensive little, uh, it's called Griffin. And I may have gotten that at, um, at um, Marshall's or TJ Maxx. I do get a lot of good things from, from those two places, so I try to stick to uh, finding the best things that I can. And then, of course, I have um, thing, pictures that inspire me. I have my essential oils here as well. I've got that going, and I use uh, essential oils that are going to help um, keep me alert and energized, so today I was using some lime and um, some lime essential oil. Got my printer, my shredder, so I try it in my file cabinet. I like cables like these for the computer or the diffuser. Um, I ha actually have the diffuser plugged into my computer. Um, but these little clips here from the Dollar Tree, these, this, uh, these legs are magnet. So it holds, I like to use these as keeping my cords in place because if not, they're, you're fumbling all over with it. Um, these cuts are great. Um, and they're at the Dollar Tree, and I use them for multiple purposes, but I use them for organizing. I use them for hair bows um, in my upstairs bathroom, and then I also use the cable just to keep it handy because I have another drawer I'll show you later, but this will help keep it handy in with these little clips that I get from the Dollar Tree. I just hook it right on there so I can charge up my iPad, um, and I can charge up my phone if I need to, so it's accessible. All right, and so next I have here a basket, and I, so, and I like to label things. These are supplies, office supplies. So anything that I need, excuse me, Ziggy. Here's Ziggy, I didn't want to run over her, so. All right, so here what I have is a pencil sharpener, and um, this here, and then I've got the little colorful index cards. So if I'm in the kitchen, and I just don't have my notebook with me, and I'm doing a recipe on the fly, and I just have this ready to go. Then I've got here these other little, um, containers and these are magnets and they do they do stick wherever there's magnet so if you don't have magnet you can you can put a um, strip of magnet um, and use these anywhere you want pretty much you can stick them anywhere there's magnets so I put the little sticky notes in there and um, and so I got those from the Dollar Tree as well and I got these from the Dollar Tree so you can get organized without having to spend a whole bunch of money and I like these um, these paper clips they're colorful and they I just it's just so much fun to use I, and then I got these from the Dollar Tree, the command um, hooks, and I haven't decided where, where I'm going to put that yet. Um, I had thought about I can hook it on the side here, but I'm, I'm not sure where, what I want to do with that, where, I, where it's needed. So then I try to keep it organized, well, keep everything organized by, by items. So these little containers I got from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, little photo, paper, little thank you labels. Um, and then we've got... Uh, some of these mailing labels and yeah and then some cards like business card um. of course if you have a dog who loves to be next to you you can just let her just squeeze her way down under your desk and just give you lots of kisses on your feet or your legs right Ziggy hey Ziggy Ziggy dog hey makes the world of a difference so I love my chair I got this at Staples uh, uh, where the office supply staples and it is the most comfortable chair in the world so if you're going to scoot yourself into the desk you know sometimes you're scooting in and then you get stuck because of the arm well these go up and that's why I love this chair it was a it was a chair because if you're you gotta be comfortable you know in order to have your workspace and do your, and do your work you have to um, you have to be comfortable you're gonna be sitting there for a X amount. So let's see here, what else do we got? I've got down here all these other folders, these plastic little folders that I got. Ziggy's checking it out. You checking it out, Ziggy? Yeah, it's okay. And so like I put my little recipe cards in here. So if I come up with a recipe and I don't have time to type it in, then I'll just throw it in here. And um, Ziggy's recipes. And I've got a, um, my coaching materials here. The recipe ideas, food list, and I just kind of like, you know, put the labels in so it makes everything so much easier instead of trying to open everything up and trying to figure it out. Pretty little box my daughter got me. And um, now this here, I just kind of threw everything in here, but I've got different things. I've got microphone or headphones, microphones for doing videos. And I keep all sorts of these loose ends where you're like, where did I put the cable to the phone? Or where did I put the cable? Or where did I put the selfie stick? Or where do I, you know, all the cables are gonna be in here. Now, for the most part, I try to like um, label them. I've been getting into the habit of doing that. So, so I try to label them because later on, I'm like, what is this for? What was that for? I'll show you how I keep my office so that I can be productive, so that I can focus, so I can have the comforts of 
not having to get up a million times um, so that I have everything I need on the desk and nothing, nothing else. So it's important so that I can get things done. If not, it doesn't happen. And how to do it inexpensively because you don't have to spend a whole lot of money um, when you're trying to get things that are going to be in a drawer or tucked away um, and they're not going to be visible. So give it a thumbs up if you like it and uh, subscribe for more tips. Thanks for joining me.